Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Ryan Fenners. Welcome back to the Fentertainment channel. On today's video, we're going to be fixing this 20 volt lithium ion Dewalt battery charger. It's been giving me some erratic looking lights that does not match the charger diagram on the front of the charger itself. Also, it's not charging the battery. So we're going to open it up, see what we can find and see if we can fix it ourselves. So stay tuned. For the past couple weeks, I haven't been able to charge both of my lithium ion 20 volt Dewalt batteries or use either one of my drills. And if you just let them sit for a little while, you might get about a minute or two out of them each time you go to uh, use them. So I have not been able to use these. However, I have been able to use this ancient 18 volt system here. It does have Amazon batteries on it. I've had these for a couple of years. I just quit using them after I got this right here kit. However, I will say there's nothing really wrong with these batteries other than they're just heavy. Number two is I really love to use my impact. This is, I probably use my impact more than I use my drill because, well, the drill, you can just pull the chuck out of like that. It's missing that E clip or that E ring in here that keeps it in place. See there how it just is very loose. So I hardly ever use this, but today when you use your batteries or you go to charge them up, one says it's uh, flashing the pack is charging, one light stays on solid, the pack is charged, and then one is flashing, one is on all the way, and it says it's a hot cold delay. Well, when we put them in like that, we're only getting one that's giving us an erratic flash and if we go to charge them up overnight, they're not working. At the time, I thought it was just one battery uh, that was causing this problem, but I got both batteries here and they're both doing it. And both of these are all the way in on the charger itself. Like so. And it's doing that and it's not charging the batteries. So a buddy of mine at work let me borrow his uh, battery charger and uh, I charged both of my batteries up the other day. So I know that the batteries are good and whatever's going on is going on inside of this charger. Well, I was going to just buy another charger. I think they're, I think the replacement DeWalt is like 40, 50 bucks, something like that. Amazon is like a $30 uh, fix I believe it is but what I've decided to do is go ahead and open these four Torx head screws here and uh, Let's open up the cover and see what we can find inside now in order to remove the top section from the lower section and get to the inside portion of the charger here DeWalt has attached both sections with four T15 security torque screws and by doing that, we just need a T15 uh, with security Torx adapter and go ahead and remove four of them bolts. All right, once we have the screws out of the charger itself, we can go ahead and lift off this top portion of the case here. Go ahead and remove this cord and the board from the lower section of the charger as well. Okay, now once we have the board out of the case itself, you can see we have the main connector here. We have some transformers here. We have some um, resistors. Okay, it looks like a MOSFET here. I could be wrong, it could be something else. And uh, these big things here, these are capacitors. Here and there, there's some the lights that lets you know what's going on in the process here. So what I'm looking at is the capacitor here. This capacitor is actually bulged. The top should be flat, but instead it's actually pushed out some here, letting us know that I believe this is what's wrong with the charger itself. Now we did have a voltage spike at our house during a lightning storm. And I guess this was plugged into the wall and this must have took uh, the brunt of the storm itself. I'm not sure why nothing else 
uh, happen, but uh, that's just, I guess that's just the way it goes. But um, this is a 68 microfarad, 200 volt capacitor. Now you can see the capacitor there, how it's bulged up on the top. This is what I'm gonna replace here. Now I went ahead and ordered some of these capacitors. I took this right here apart. I believe this right here is the culprit. Now when taking the capacitor off of a board, you're gonna have two leads. Just note that this side lead on the right here, facing this side of the board, has the stripe on it. That's usually the negative side of the capacitor and the positive side of the capacitor does not have a stripe on it. So I got on the line and I ordered some 68 microfarad 200 volt capacitors. I got these on Amazon. I was only looking for one, but for $7 uh, with prime membership shipping and one day shipping, I went ahead and uh, just paid $7 for 12 of them. Now I went ahead and took one out of the bag here just to show you. Everything looks the same. See, you got your negative leg there. It says 68 microfarad, 200 volts. It's your positive leg on that side. Generally, your positive leg will be a little bit longer than your negative leg, like in this case here. Now I'm going ahead and plugged up the soldering iron. We're gonna let it warm up and then we're gonna get started by removing this right here capacitor on the board, soldering in the new capacitor to see if we can fix our problem. Now this is what it looks like, uh, this white stuff here. It's just actually a glue, and that's to hold certain parts of the board down itself, which is holding this capacitor down here. Now I've went ahead and loosened it up. So once we flip this board over, we know which legs we need to desolder on the board itself to remove this capacitor. Once we have this capacitor removed, we'll replace it, solder in the next one. Also note, this line here, this, uh, these black lines that may look like dots to you, that is for the negative side of the board here, and this side over here is for the positive side. Remember the negative side has the line on the side of the capacitor. Now what I'm gonna do is just grab the capacitor itself. I'm gonna try to pull on the capacitor while I'm heating this right here up from the back side. Make sure you get the right uh, solder joint and do not unsolder anything that does not need to be unsoldered. Now on the right hand side we have the aftermarket capacitor we just ordered. And you can see at the top of it's flat. Now the one on the left I've removed some of the glue from it but you can see it's bulged up and it's poking out the top that's where I believe the problem is at now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this capacitor here and put it back through the holes that this came through before we solder it in place remember the negative is the side with the stripe on it here that's going to go on the negative side right there and on the positive side it's got the little plus arrow right there I'm going to just drop it in the hole there and I'll probably just uh, go ahead and bend it over. Get it to where I want it. That looks kind of stock there. Now I got these two here. We need to go ahead and solder these two in place. Once we solder them in place, we're gonna snip them off. I'm gonna go ahead and take the board and place it back together like it was. I'm gonna go ahead and put the top on. Be sure to put the uh, power cord in its correct location like so, so that doesn't get snatched out. I'm not gonna bolt it up just yet. I want to test it out, make sure everything is good to go before we bolt it up. All right, 
There's a moment of truth. Let's see if this cheap fix fixed our DeWalt charger. Ah, <laughs> yes. So it looks like we are charging here and the capacitor was the only thing that was uh, not charging these batteries. It had popped. Let's go ahead and take this one out. And I know we need to charge that one and we need to charge this one as well. Let's make sure this one does it as well. And it's charging as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove everything and uh, put my four Torx bolts back into the bottom of the charger and start charging. So if you need a link to the um, capacitors I use, I will put it in the description below. Also, I will put a link to the description below uh, to Amazon as well so you can get the T15 uh, Torx bit with the security option built into it so you can remove these screws. All right guys, so there you have it, the DCB107 DeWalt uh, 20 volt lithium ion battery charger. It's worth opening up and seeing if you have a blown capacitor before you go and order another one of these or buy another one of these. Uh, just borrow your buddies if you have that capability so you can make sure that your batteries aren't bad. And on the capacitors, uh, when you're touching these capacitors, you want to take something and uh, and discharge the capacitor before you go touching these legs on it here because the capacitors store energy. So be sure to drain the capacitors before you go touching these legs. Uh, I really haven't touched the legs at all. I've just been touching the body of the capacitor, which has been fine the entire time. Be sure to drop a like on this video if you liked it. Uh, also leave a comment and uh, maybe share it with your friends. Appreciate you watching. Don't forget to check out some of these other great videos and we'll see you next time.